here's what's coming up on today's news. Tessa Blanchard is making an in-ring return. We also talk about scrapped plans to split a popular WWE tag team. And finally, there are big plans in the works for a new Raw superstar. More on that in just a bit. So Fightful are reporting, Andrew, that there is going to be a relaunched version of WOW. Whoa! Wow. No, wow. Wow. Sorry. Women, wow. Women of wrestling, which is going to be uh, announced at a press conference, uh, well, today, I mm. believe. Uh, the only names that we know of, or that Fightful know of, I should say, that are attached to the company uh, are an unnamed former WOW talent and former Impact World Champion, Tessa Blanchard. Mm. Now, I suppose this is very interesting. Obviously, Tessa Blanchard has gone through a very controversial time. Yep. There were allegations of bullying mm -hmm. and, and that sort of stuff behind the scenes. Some of it was said to be racially motivated mm. as well. So Tessa Blanchard's been through, um, been through a very controversial time recently. Yeah. But there is no denying her talent in the wrestling mm -hmm. ring. Um, I imagine her prolonged absence from the ring has everything to do with um, all of these controversial yes. accusations that have come out about her, yeah. rather than a lack of companies wanting her. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, she, she is very, very good, regardless yeah. of what you think about her. That doesn't mean that any companies are obliged to sign her, of course. Yep. But, wow, seem to be taking a chance. Mm. Um, I don't quite know what to make of this, though. Did you? Are you aware of the original WoW? Because I don't know if I am. A, a, a little tiny bit. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not too well versed in it either. I know that it was on Axis TV, and then it was, I think, the Axis and, and WoW sort of parted ways, and this is now sort of like the rebranding, the re was it, into the world again. Was it, was it trying to be like, was it when Glow was like all the Glow. rage, and it was trying to be all like... I guess so. Cheesy perhaps. and 80. I can't even remember. Mm. Was it? What, do you remember if it was like wrestling based or was it like a bit like? It was wrestling. Oh, what I remember it was wrestling based. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, well, Five Love apparently contacted several former WOW stars who said that they weren't even aware of any relaunch plans and said they hadn't heard from WOW creator David McLean mm. since a year ago, quite tellingly, when they were asked not to comment on the controversial situation surrounding Tessa Blanchard, which seems to imply that WOW creator David McLean has had this idea in the works for a while. Yeah. And has not only had the idea of a relaunch in the works for a while, mm. but the idea of having Tessa Blanchard heavily involved as well. Yes. Because when this situation cropped up, he seems to have then contacted former WOW stars and gone, hey now, don't talk about Tessa Blanchard. Mm. And they've gone, I'm having my tape, what are you doing? <laughs> That's what it sounds Forget like hoops. to me. Yeah, they're like, <laughs> they, he's just called them in the middle of the day and they're like, you what? I'm busy. Mm. But we'll have to wait and see how it turns out. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's, I think it's going to be a bit of a strange one. I think... I, uh... With with everything that's happened and all the controversy, I think this is part of it is perhaps even business strategy to try and get people talking about it again. And we have done. Um, we we have certainly done. have done. Yeah, as it's in the news. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, also in the news is uh, PW Insider's report of a scrapped plan to split a popular mm. WWE tag team in the recent draft, which didn't happen in the end because T Bar and Mace were split <laughs> up instead. The big ones. But who was originally going to be split up? It was going to be the Street Profits, Jack. You see, it was so for was going to move to Raw and Dawkins was going to stay on Smackdown and uh, I'd have been sad about that. I've got mixed thoughts. Yeah. I, well, yeah, after the main event, the, uh, the, oh. the, the, the uh, Tez, Tezzy yeah, lad. So good. Tez. Tez. Against Roman. Te yeah. Oh man. Like oh. unbelievably good. <laughs> and uh, and then, yeah, and splitting them, uh, so him on his own would have been fantastic. Like yeah. he really deserves to shine. I think so. But then the tag team together, there's so much fun. And they work so well together too, it would have been a shame. I think so too. And I think I'm leaning more towards being relieved that they weren't split up because mm. as we've often seen, I'm assuming that as the bigger member of the team, Angelo Dawkins would have been the one to turn on Montez Ford. I don't yeah. know for certain, but you can just sort of see it. Uh, and it and it never really goes well for the for the heel in those sort of situations. Mm. Just look at the likes of Tucker, for example. Yeah, exactly. Um or Rikishi. Yeah. Um but I think that had this happened. Montez Ford may well have gone on to fulfill his potential, but Dawkins would have been in a really hard position, maybe. Yeah. And the new day have recently proven as well over the past few years that you don't need to break up to enjoy yeah. single success. That's very true. You can thrive and keep the team together as you well. You can, you can. And I would be love nice. for that to happen to the street problem. Me too, I me really too. I really would. I really would. Would you really like to see that, Jack? Just got really serious. Jack, would you really, really like, like to see that? that? But then you know, I'd like to see Big Tez with a with a big belt as well. I'd like to see that Big Tez nice. with a big belt. You know what? I'm not even against Dawkins winning the belt. Not me neither. They're both so likable. They are. I love them. Aww. I'm really glad that they didn't break up, Andrew. Profe professing your love there. Um, really nice. Blood sports. Whoa. Quick change of emotions there. <laughs> 
Uh, Bloodsport, you know, we all know it, we all love it. It's under the GCW banner. It features real fake fighting, <laughs> not fake, fake fighting. Whoa. And uh, there's big names announced for Josh Barnett's Bloodsport 7. We're up to number 7 already. Mm. GCW have announced on Monday that Davy Richards will be part of Bloodsport for the very first time on October 22nd. Of course, that's when it is. Uh, Richards returned to the ring in June after four years away from the business and has worked for various independent mm -hmm. companies since. It was also announced that Masha Slamovich, making her second Bloodsport appearance, will also be there. Uh, she's recently signed with Impact and also caught a lot of attention as part of NWA Empower. Mm. Uh, the card, apart from that, is pretty stacked oh, as well. Jack. I'm going to run through it, Andrew. Hard boys and girls. Josh Barnett. It's his blood sport. That okay. is, yeah. Minoru Suzuki. Ooh. Filthy Tom Lawler. Bah. Marina Shafir, ah. formerly of the Four Horsewomen of MMA. Yep. Uh, Calvin Tankman. Killer Kelly. Ooh. Portugal zone, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Yuya Uemura of New Japan. Bad Guy Tito, who I don't know anything about, but he's called Bad Guy Tito, so I'm it's pretty good. fully involved. And Yoya as well. It's a pretty big card. Yeah. Should be pretty good. I'm looking forward to these. Like, these um, are just very different, but also awesome at the same time. Yes. Like, they're always really compelling to watch. And, uh, I mean, GCW recently has just been killing it as well with all the pay-per-views that they've mm. been putting out. Bloodspot's always a fun one to watch. Something a little bit different. Uh, combining, like, the... The fights, but with the wrestles at the yeah, same time. Absolutely, um, it's uh, it's always a spectacle to see. So I'm looking forward to it, and the names in there as well are just oh, fantastic. Absolutely. Uh, just a quick one on Impact Wrestling. Mm -hmm. We've announced that Turning Point will air live on November 20th at Samstown in Las Vegas. It'll be part of a three-day taping schedule for Impact Wrestling as they're going to tape for television on November 21st and 22nd mm -hmm. as well. Uh, this is the third consecutive year that a Turning Point event will take place with the pay-per-view first airing in 2004, one of Impact's first ever monthly pay-per-views. Mm. Uh, Turning Point's had some big main events in the past. Kurt Angle versus Smoke Joe oh, in 2006. So good. Big fan of that one, Big fan of that, man. We're still versus AJ Styles in 2008 mm -hmm. and EC3 versus Drew Galloway now McIntyre in 2016 nice. so we can see a big one this year as well mm. um, now moving on to Raw where wrestle votes have said this on the old social media WWE has done a better job this time around of keeping draft results wrapped up mm. good job by them the only speculation I heard over the weekend included a story about how a Raw writer Bang the table for Finn Balor to be used in McIntyre's role now on Monday nights. Oh. We shall see. Jesus. What does that mean? I guess perhaps have him more prominently in the title picture, do you think? Because, uh, I mean, McIntyre, for a long time, McIntyre was the guy. When Bobby got the belt, McIntyre was the guy. Do they guy mean like... McIntyre's slightly older role? Although Maybe. he is back in the title picture now. He is now. back in the title yeah, picture now. I'm, I'm just hoping that now, after... <coughs> Praise be the Lord upstairs or whoever cut the rope on uh, on on Extreme Rules. Yeah. I just hope Ballard doesn't get lost in the shuffle again. And hopefully this does mean the right of banging on the table for Finn Ballard to be using McIntyre's role on Monday nights. I'm really hoping that he is just put more prominently in the title picture because I think just I'd love to see Finn Balor and Big E go at it. I think those two together would, would make a really good match. I think that'd be a really good match as well. I, I just don't know what they quite mean by the mm. McIntyre role. Because okay. in my mind, he's not been the top face on Raw for a little while. Yeah. A little while. Big E's obviously taken that role. Yes. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they mean the slightly older McIntyre role. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. But I don't know. Now McIntyre's going over to SmackDown mm -hmm. in the draft, so it does free I mean, up the a spot. For, yeah, maybe that's what they mean. Maybe that. that's what they mean. So I got my fingers crossed. I'm, I'm, op I'm, I'm optimistic. I'm cautiously optimistic about Fair this. enough. And finally, what is this story? <laughs> it's just an extra one. Well, it's, yeah, it's a fun extra one, isn't it? Oh. But if he wasn't the WWE Hall of Famer, there's no way we'd be able to report this. But WWE Celebrity Hall of Famer William Shatner, who is 90, Oof. will this month become the oldest person to ever go into space. Whoa. <laughs> and that's the news. What are these notes? Shatner, who famously played Captain James T. <laughs> Kirk on Star Trek. No, the, William Shatner's going to space. And, yep. he's, and he's old. He is old. Fair play, Will. He'll ride into Fair space play, on the... Uh, e this is either American Times, either on the 12th of October or the 10th of December on Jeffrey Bezos' Blue Origin Capsule. Yeah, I've still watched Inside, actually. Whoa! But I feel like I know it all now anyway because everyone sings everything from it that's all true. of the time. And that's another uh, bit of... Uh, that's another, that's another one. Yeah. Why do you look so mad? Because, <laughs> right, I'm a big fan of Bo Burnham. Oh, I was an, o, I was an OG fan of Bo Whoa. Burnham. The first one I saw was like Bo or one of the ones with yeah. his keyboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, and then he did this, and I just didn't know how to feel about it, Andrew, right? Okay. Didn't know how to feel about Bo Burnham sat in his presumably lovely house mm. with his presumably lovely wife, mm -hmm. pretending to be lonely and sad. I'm not saying that no one, no. I'm not, I'm, not uh, I'm sure if I watched it, I would understand fully his yeah, mental course. state during lockdown. Of course. But to me, and, and, and the, whole, the whole first song was him making excuses about why he shouldn't be doing this, and I'm like, well, Bo, if you feel like that, don't do it then, Bo. I know I'm really poking the bear here. I'd love to. I know to I'm really poking the bear. See Bo and Jack go no, at it. No, because Bo's cleverer than me, isn't he? So he probably. He probably You're both very smart. He's taller as well. He's taller. I mean, he is taller. Bo but... Burnham's cleverer than me, Andrew. I'll Let's get you not... on my shoulders. Thank you, though. But I'll Bo's. Get you on my shoulders. Yeah, like, you can get him. like we're sneaking into the R rated movie. <laughs> exactly. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> no, I, I've, I've heard nothing but good things about Inside, and I think it's just out of stubbornness that I've not That's seen it. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. I'll make time to watch it. Are you I'll, okay? I'm alright, thank He's all you. Right. Thanks for asking You're that. You're welcome. For you. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. I'm alright. That's nice. Yeah. I hope you all are as well. Leave your thoughts on these stories in the comment section down below. And remember to stay safe out there, stay positive, and we'll see you very soon. Get on out of your seat, all eyes on me, all eyes on me.